Good morning, guys. Welcome to today's video. I think I started yesterday's video in this exact same spot. Good morning. Welcome to today. Today is the day after the girls went to bed at 3 a.m. So we're headed to the store to get energy drinks because apparently nobody can survive on just a few hours sleep. I swear. Sleepovers have escalated since um, the kids show became teenagers. The candy store. You want to show her the candy store? Yes. Gabby you know how to drive to go there? Is this a ploy to get me to let you buy more candy? No. She hasn't seen it. You want to go to the candy store, Elizabeth? Sure. Well, we are still waiting <laughs> on the driver. Wait, what? What? I thought she was in the seat. <laughs> no, I came out thinking everybody was in the car already, but yeah, it was only me. Anyway, we are headed to the store to get to get the stuff. <laughs> we can't even leave her. Yeah, we can't even leave her because she's got the keys. So tell them about what happened last night. So we were driving somewhere. Last night. Last night, yesterday. And then on our way back, I saw a black and white thing. And I'm like, oh my God, it's a baby skunk. And then I was like, stop the car. And we turned around what and then that? we went out and then we brought home a skunk. Me and Elizabeth walked all mm -hmm. along way. Because Gabby wouldn't let the skunk in her car. Oh, look, here she is. Right? Yeah. Yeah. So I have a little bit of footage of that, not much. Wait, were you talking to Gabby? Because I was gonna show it to you guys um, you guys today, to but it's really hard to get where? to get near it. Do you know how to get to the candy store? Because yeah. all right, you feel comfortable parking over there? Never parked over there, but oh well figure it out. I don't think she's ever parked on the street before. But anyways, this back to the skunk story. We found a baby skunk. I called animal control and said like, is this baby skunk big enough to be uh, walking along the road by itself with no mom? And they said, look for the mom. So I looked for the mom and sure enough, there was a dead skunk uh, close by, relatively close by. Um, so they said I could take it home. So we brought the baby home. <laughs> What an experience. The girls walked it all the way home. Gabby went and let it in her car. Uh, we put it in a little container to keep it warm, to keep it safe. It's just a tiny, tiny little thing, but it still does spray. It's not as big. Yeah, it's not we, as... we stunk the whole night. <laughs> It's not like a real skunk where you get sprayed and they said like hold the tail underneath the, the belly and it won't spray. Did you do that? No. No. <laughs> we wrapped its butt in plastic. <laughs> so I want to show you guys the baby skunk but I'm afraid to go near it. No, we poked it with a stick. You poked it? No, we didn't poke it. We gently rubbed it. It was like, hi skunk. And then... His name is Mr. Stinky. No. <laughs> Skunkita. And Skunkita. <laughs> Anyways, I'm gonna phone right now and see if somebody can come and pick up this baby skunk because I want it to live and I don't want to be responsible for it anymore. So until the people come to pick it up, the wildlife people are gonna come and pick up this little baby skunk. Until they do, they give us instructions to do to it. So, <laughs> so we'll video that when we get home. Gabby's parking on the street for the first time ever in her life and she's parallel parking. I said, how the heck did you? I just have to try and try Thank and try. You so much. How did you learn? I watched a video <laughs> once. <laughs> what just happened? You're gonna drive her parts better than your mom. And that. Oh, good job, Gabby. Okay. I swear to God, I we taught three boys how to drive. And not one of them have ever driven like this. Like, she just has an aptitude for cars and for driving. Like, she's, <laughs> she's just like, I remember when I was learning how to drive, I'm like, oh my gosh, I don't want to parallel park. Like, do I have to parallel park for the test? Like, I hate parallel parking. And we came up the road and, and I'm like, oh, park over here so you don't have to parallel park. And she's like, why don't I just parallel park? Drives up into the road, pulls up, pulls back in, and three seconds later, <laughs> parallel parked never taught her no nothing and when we drive with her i always forget that i'm supposed to be like watching her because she knows how to drive she it's like riding with a, tr a rider a driver who's been driving for 20 years <laughs> it's insane have you guys heard my rooster in any of the recent videos i swear we got a new rooster and uh, 
he's young and he's the most annoying thing I've ever heard in my life. I honestly, honestly, like every video now, I hear him and it's the most annoying. He's like annoying, but he's good to the girls. So, okay, so here's where I kept the skunk. So I put him in this container. Hopefully it's okay. Yeah, I see it moving. Do you guys see it in there? If you see the tail lift. I think, it, oh, he's cold. All right, I'm gonna figure him out. I'm gonna fix him. Door! Oh, got it. Oh. Hey. Are you guys waiting for me? No. no. Oh. Are you riding? I'm riding. You wanna ride my horse too? Sure. Okay. <laughs> he looks so grouchy. He's like, Whoa, I thought I was having time off. <laughs> So we're gonna ride. We're gonna go down and have fun in the arena. It's gonna be fun, Storm. She's not gonna be like fast and furious with you. I'm just gonna do a couple jumps. I'm gonna ride in my saddle, so Sophie has to ride in her saddle. And Storm had Cairo a couple of days oh. ago, which is why we couldn't ride yesterday. Is he gonna buck me off? No. So the people came to pick up the baby skunk. That's why we're so late. He actually said that baby skunks are his favorite. And I'm like, yeah, I've heard that they're, like my sister's had a baby skunk before. And I've heard that they can be like the sweetest animals. And they said that they thanked me for picking him up. He said that not a lot of people will pick up like a skunk. <laughs> I'm like, yeah, I tried not to. And so as soon as we saw it, um, I told my sister, like, I messaged my sister. I said, like, do I, is this skunk just like a bunny? Like, bunnies are tiny when they leave the nest. So people, like, think that there's these baby bunnies and that they're, like, need to be rescued. But in reality, they're just, that's the, that's what they look like when they leave. So I said, please tell me that this baby skunk is ready to leave the, leave the nest. And she said, no, you got to take it. And I'm like, I hate stinky things. <laughs> I don't want to take it. But you can't, like, it was just wandering along the side of the road, and I felt really bad for it. It looked kind of like it had either just started walking, which it was all fully furred, so I don't know if that's possible. But it was really tiny, and by the time they picked it up, you could tell he was, like, really scared. But they said we did the right stuff by keeping him warm and covered and in a dark spot. As we put a blanket over him, and now he's gone on to the rehabilitation place. We're ready. Ready to go? Sophie and her, Sophie and Elizabeth are already down there. Gabby's down there, Sam's down there. We're just the slow pokes. I was the one dealing with the skunk. How goes it? <laughs> you and a bunch of girls. So how's Storm? Just so you guys know, since Storm came home, he's been vetted and he's had his maintenance chiropractor appointment. He's had lots of grass. He's had everything that we can offer. <laughs> He's had time, he's relaxing. Sophie go, going Sophia. over the jump. Go, go, go. Hip forward, go. Bad habits. We're just teaching Storm bad habits. <laughs> Kathy just said that because Sophie let it do it the first time. He thinks she's a little kid now. Gabby had that bang drink in her purse. Backpack. Backpack. She threw it over her shoulder and the house key 
punctured it right. and she was leaking it all over the place. Yeah. So now she's got her <laughs> backpack yeah. hanging there trying to draw, her wallet trying to draw, all the cards were in it, they're drawing. I have an extra wallet. And you brought an extra wallet? So what's Penny like? <laughs> That's the 20 million dollar question. So she, this isn't her thing. She doesn't like to just go around in an arena. She loves to trail ride and you've ridden trail, trail ridden her. She's perfect on the trail. Yeah, in the field, she's not as good. Her buck is her putting her head down the saddle on forward. Are they too long? Uh, a little bit. Basically, she doesn't like to go forward. So fun fact, Sturm and Penny are the same height. It's just the saddle, I think. I love jumping. I know you love jumping. So here's our dilemma, you guys. We have we have to get a new horse. We have to buy I'm new horses. Horse. So if he needs a, so I want Storm to be a Western Pleasure horse because that's what we decided. Did you see that nice canter? Yeah, it was gorgeous. I was actually going with. But you have to canter with no stirrups. Anyways, Sophie, Sophie, where's your heart? Over the jumps. Over the jumps. She's a bit more nervous. She's getting used to riding Storm again. She's a bit nervous going over the jumps. But the thing is, is that I'm at the point in my journey, Sophie. She looks good. She looks really good, though. Like, look how cute she looks. She's cute. You want to hop on, Stormy? Yeah. You're going to need the whip. Okay. okay. I don't think I've ever ridden Storm. You, yeah, you, you've never ridden Storm? Oh, get ready for the ride of a lifetime. Because <laughs> he goes if you, if. if you're the red. But he can go. <laughs> Don't we see things on the other? <laughs> I know. Okay. So the dilemma for me is, at this point, I don't want Storm to, I don't want Storm to do jumping anymore. Like, I'm, I'm done with that. Like, it's not his strong suit. He likes to go slow. And we made him into a jumper. Please, so, what do you say about his saddle, Elizabeth? It's nice. So, she loves the I saddle. Picked I picked it. I know. It, her, I her, their saddles are really nice. A saddle with color, but then I fell in love with that saddle. Yeah, she wanted just the, she ended up with the plain Jane. Anyways, so my problem is this. Sophie wants to jump. It's her passion. Do you still want to do Western Pleasure? She doesn't even like Western Pleasure anymore. But I think it's good for her and I think it's good for him. If I'm going to have a flat lesson one day, I'll do Western. That's how I'll do it. The thing is, is that I don't want to, I don't want to put him back in that situation. I want him to be a Western horse again. I want him to be... Really? They're short for me. Go fix them. I don't know how to explain it, but I feel like Storm's done his time. I feel like he was the best horse to an 11 year old girl and then he was a lesson horse for a year and a half and I, I think that like I want him to have a time for him so like I like that Sophie gets a chance to like ride him every once in a while and have fun on him see how lazy he is I really want him to enjoy the rest of his life I really want him to just enjoy the rest of his life and I don't think that it's in jumping so I don't know what will happen that's his good way too is, is he as slow as Rat? Slower? I know. <laughs> Actually, no, Rat was pretty slow. Yeah, so see, you guys see how he likes to go slow? That's been him his whole entire life. Wasn't Every single outside? owner that's ever had him has always said a Storm is the fastest horse without a rider. You put a rider on him and he slows right down. Anyway, I don't know. I'm, I'm going to talk to her trainer and we're going to figure it out. But Sophie just needs a new horse. Gabby needs a new horse too. I understand this. But Gabby does not want a new horse right now. She wants to focus on Chino. And she gets to ride horses at the lesson barn that she loves. She's enjoying what she's doing right now. Oh my gosh. <laughs> now you have to he's, not a, he's not a jumping horse. Now you know my struggle. But isn't it amazing how amazing Gabby, like, isn't it incredible to see what Gabby accomplished on him? So, I'm and the other it, thing is, disgusting. is that I love what Sophie's learning in Western Pleasure. Like, I love that she's learning to use her body and, and just watching her, like, try jumping again made me see, like, how much, 
she needs to really practice the western stuff the slow stuff and the using her body stuff like i want her to get that education so i'm gonna probably make her keep doing western pleasure and i don't want to get another horse until the fall we have a lot of things happening in the next few weeks and months that we can't really focus on getting a horse but she definitely needs one and one is coming don't you know that you're beautiful